Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. I'm going to be showing you how you can filter your search on Zillow.com to get the exact requirements of whatever home you're looking to purchase. So what you're going to want to do first is make sure you're in a region that you want to buy a house. For the example of this video, I'm going to use Las Vegas, Nevada. So this is the homepage right here. You just go ahead and type in whatever area you're going to be looking for a house in, and then it'll take you to the, a page. And right now, this blue outline is going to be the greater Las Vegas area that it has for this specific search. So to filter your search, you're going to have all of these options up here. Um, very important, the listing type to start with. You can look at recently sold houses, uh, houses and units that are for rent. Uh, listings that are potential but not currently on the market. I'm not a big fan of having these on the screen they kind of distract from what's currently for sale so I usually get rid of that particular option I filter those out um, you're basically if you're gonna be interested in buying something you're just gonna want the red ones those are gonna be the ones that are currently for sale and then you're gonna have ones that are for sale by agent by owner new construction foreclosures and ones that could potentially be coming soon but you know, if you want to buy from a homeowner, you know, you maybe get rid of some of these other check marks. Maybe you want a new construction, so you just have that one. Whatever the check mark is next to, those are going to be the um, options that are going to show up on the screen for whatever search that you are doing. Next, you're going to go to the price range. This is another very important filter option to have. Um, you know, you go to the bank, they tell you how much house you can afford. Maybe they say you can afford up to a $150,000 house. So the max price, you might want to put 150000 because that's the biggest loan that you could potentially get for a house. And also, it's not a bad idea to put a minimum price in. You're not going to want a house that's, you know, maybe thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 if you're going to want something that's more closer to your purchase limit. Uh, maybe you put your bottom dollar... You know, if you're looking for something that's pushing that $150,000 price tag, maybe your bottom dollar would be about $80,000. So then you type that in as your minimum. Next is going to be how many bedrooms that you want. Uh, perhaps you have some kids or, you know, you like having extra bedrooms. Maybe you could use them as an office or other rooms for that. Maybe you, you need at least two bedrooms because one just isn't going to be quite enough for you. So you'll click on two plus and obviously the plus means that it's going to show you every uh, unit that's going to have two bedrooms or more so you know the sky's the limit on that one if you click two plus two is just going to be the minimum amount of bed so it's going to eliminate any studios or one bedroom uh, units that are for sale and then last but not least you have the more option and we're going to click on that and you can filter by how many bathrooms you want. Maybe you need at least one and a half baths. Uh, square footage. I usually don't put in anything for the square footage. Personally, when I'm looking for houses, it's usually the bedrooms and the bathrooms are the more important filters for me in my particular searches. And then lot size. Another one that I usually don't tinker with too much. Um, maybe if you're not going to buy in the city and you're you know, looking for more acreage, then that might be a more important filter option. Maybe you want a lot of land. So maybe you're looking for at least five acres. You can go ahead and type that in. You can also do a custom size and things such as that. Uh, also year built, you can look at a range of when the unit that you're looking at, you can, you know, maybe you don't want something that's really old. You want something more modern day. So maybe you put in a limit of, you know, the year 2000 or, or you know, minimum of you know 1990 or something like that you also put in a max age i probably wouldn't bother with that too much um, if it's in your price range that's going to be the first and foremost thing that's important so the newer more likely the better that it's going to be um, and then you can also filter by the homeowners association uh, say you don't want you know over under a certain amount of homeowners association fee with whatever property you buy so that's another important filter option for a lot of people especially in the Las Vegas area where a lot of homes come with homeowners association fees uh, those are going to be monthly charges that you pay as a part of whatever association that your uh, home is a part of and then home type I also like using this filter option a lot. Um, I'm usually not looking for lots of land, so I usually uncheck mark that. And I'm not a big fan of manufactured homes, so I usually uncheck that one as well. 
Um, maybe you don't want an apartment, a condo, and maybe you just want houses so you'll only have that box check marked. Below that, we have days on Zillow. And this is another thing where, you know, if a house has been on Zillow for a really long time, that usually means two things. Either one, the house is overpriced, or number two, there's something that's wrong with the house that's making people not want to buy it. Um, you know, if a house is on Zillow for a very long time, it's likely to have something wrong with it. So maybe you just want more recently listed uh, properties, maybe ones that are listed in the past month or the past three months. Once you get properties that have been listed for over three months, you start getting into that range of uh, units that have probably have something wrong with them. These are also potentially units that you could uh, negotiate a much cheaper price than what's currently listed at, given the fact that it might be on the market for a really long time. So those are other things to keep in mind. Below that, we have keywords. Uh, maybe you need to have a garage, you want to have a pool, something like that. You can type in keywords into here, and it will limit the search to only properties that have those keywords in it. So a great uh, option there for you to have as well. And then um, just the last thing here is single story homes, or uh, if you click on that, it'll just show you homes that are single story. And then once you're done with all your filter options, you click apply, and then it'll apply all of those different filter options. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, Zillow gives you a ton of great filter options that are very handy and useful. If you're not using filter options, it's going to just take you a lot longer to go through all of the different um, places that are potentially ones that you're going to be interested in looking at. So I hope this video was helpful in some way. Uh, I've made some other Zillow videos that kind of go over some different things that you can utilize with this website. But uh, thanks for stopping on in, guys. For more of this kind of content, you click that subscribe button. And I appreciate you uh, standing by and watching this video. So uh, we'll see you in future videos, hopefully. Bye, guys.